I'm Megan Kaywin and I'm the Chief Platform Officer of Starling Bank. Definitely. So today at the FinTech World Forum, I spoke about innovation in banking. So Starling Bank is what we call a tech startup with a banking license, but it's often referred to as a challenger bank here in the UK. And what we've seen is that banking has not really changed a lot since the financial crisis in 2008, which has meant that there's a huge gap between what customers have started to expect, particularly in terms of user experience, um, and what the banks are offering. So Starling was started very much with this vision of bringing the type of innovation that customers have seen from tech companies into financial services. And I was telling the story about that, um, what we're offering um, in the Starling account today. So there's a massive amount of opportunity to innovate in banking right now. So on the one hand, it's from the user experience. It's making it so that customers can set up an account in less than five minutes from their phone. It's making it so that they can have insight into their spending so that they can make better financial decisions. From a marketplace perspective, it's how they can easily access a whole range of fintech products from across the market, all from within their Starling app. So right now what we've seen is a lot of innovation within financial technology, but right now all of the apps are individual, it's a bit fragmented, you don't have a single hub, a single gateway as a, the control center for your finances. And that's the opportunity that Starling's looking to solve. So to help pull those fintechs into Starling, give customers transparency and choice to their options, um, and make it easy for them to connect and access those other products as well. So there are a number of challenges that you'll face as, um, as a startup bank. So one of which is if you look across the market, Market, there's only one tech startup with a banking license offering current accounts right now and it's Starling. The reason for that is in order to start a bank, to get a full banking license is very difficult. So the government has made it possible for the first time in hundreds of years to get a banking license, but at the same time what that means is there's still um, all of the work that you have to do to build the bank pre-launch, pre-revenue, and to raise the funding to allocate for the capital as well to receive the banking license. So there, there's a challenge from a regulatory perspective in getting the full banking license. Um, the other portion of that is building a bank from scratch takes just a matter of time. So we started in 2014, but we didn't fully launch um, until this year. So there's um, a time lag in terms of you have the, the idea and the vision for starting the bank um, to actually delivering that to market. So there's those challenges, I would say, that, that you face in this field. Um, I was really impressed by the number of delegates and the variety of people I met here. It's really interesting to meet people from a variety of backgrounds and connect with them, hear about their experiences and what they're looking for from Starling um, and get their feedback as well. It's also a great venue, um, a good place to share ideas and connect with people.